I'm going to show you where all the hidden parts are in Armored Core 6. First thing you need to know is there are none in Chapter 1. The first mission that has hidden parts is Infiltrate Grid 086. So let me show you where they all are in that one, and we'll go to the next one. The next one, we'll get through all the levels. So most of the parts are going to be around the same area. So right when you get to this part, you'll know. You'll open this door. These things will ambush you from behind. You'll come to here. You'll see this roughly. Let's go from here because that's a pretty easy place to start without wasting a lot of your time. So the first one is going to go. It's going to be where you go down here. There'll be an enemy here and an enemy here. But once you drop down, so we fell right there, we just turn around immediately and right back here, there's a chest. And inside of this chest is uh, HC 3000 Wrecker. Okay, then from here, we're going to head out of this room. We're going to head over here to the right. This thing will drop. Um, I don't think we even have to kill this. It's going to go right over that. Head into here. There'll be this room. You're going to head back by this, like, lava thing or whatever. And then right back here is the chest. You can open it up as a CC 3000 Wrecker. Then after that, you head back up to this lava thing. And there's this uh, thing on the left that you can land in and then go inside of. And then it'll take you back into here. And you fall down in here, all the way back in here. And there'll be an ambush in here. There'll be a dude on the right right here. You don't have to kill him, I guess, but I just love you killing things with this build. This is the uh, dual striker build that I made. There we go. And then there's his chest here, and it has the AC 3000 record. All right, now after that, the confusing part is getting back out of here. So you go here, you go up to this, you fly up. There's the thing over here. It's really hard to actually get inside without missing. Get over into here. And then up into here. We can go over here and access this. And then this will take us outside. Now the next one is pretty much right out here. So once we get out here, we're going to fly up to this stuff up here. Depending on your booster, you may have to stop and go to get up all the way. So you're going to go up to here. And then you'll see the objective right there. Well, you're going to land to the by, by the objective and turn right. Head over to here. And then there'll be an enemy here. You kill him. Open up that. And it has a 2C3000 wrecker. So there's that. After that, you do need to finish the level. For all these, you'll need to finish the level afterwards in order to keep it. But that's it for this level. That's everything in Infiltrate Grid 086. Let's move on to the next level. So next up is Tunnel Sabotaged. I think this is a Chapter 2 mission or Chapter 3 Chapter 2. You'll recognize this area right here. They'll make you go here. And that's an easy place to start from. So we're going to go down here, get our boost up, and then we're going to head up to this one right up here and go left. And there's going to be a chest hidden back in here. Just got to watch out for the um, snipers. So after that, you go up here, and there will be a chest right up here by this generator-looking thing. Inside of that is the I or 1A C01W1 Nebula Plasma Rifle. So that's it for the tunnel sabotage. That's how to get that item. The next one is from Survey the Uninhabited City. And I'm gonna do this one from the start just because you can get lost so easily. So it starts you off facing this way and you're just gonna go straight this way until you basically hit a barrier or yeah, here's the barrier. Then you're gonna land and turn right. And then you're gonna go over this way like following the barrier through all this. And then kind of go along the barrier like this. And this objective will pop up once you get close. Careful of the explosives. You're going to have to activate this thing. So we came in from right there. You know, there's these three, like four looking fin things here. After you activate this, the barrier will go away. And you can go towards this direction. And there will be this. You see that little red blinking light up there? There's an enemy guarding it, but we're going to ignore that. There's this red, there's a chest right here. Inside of that is the 1A C01G Aorta. So that's where that is from Survey the Uninhabited City. So next up is the Illuminate Honest Brute mission. Now this one just requires to have you fall down all the way down to this first objective. And then also fall over to this objective over here as well. I'm just gonna ignore everything. And then you fall over to here. And oh, I missed, this is the left one here, not the right one. And right here is a chest. Open that up, and it has the WB0010 Double Trooper. I think that's a melee weapon. Then you go over to here, and you need to go to the next objective. And right after this objective, there will be another item for you to get.
All right, so you're going to land right here on this objective, and then instead of going forward, you're going to go to the right over here. There's this um, really long path you got to go on right here, and at the end of it, there's this guy here. You ignore him, kill him, and then head up to here and get up on top of this, and there's a hidden chest right here. And that's the BC0600123245. <laughs> All right, the next one's a little bit later in level. I'll skip ahead. Just follow the objectives and go over there. So once you reach that objective I was pointing at, you'll be in this area. It's pretty obvious. You'll know you're here. You'll have to go into back here. There will be some traps and things. And you're going to fall down into this area with traps. Kill this guy. And then you're going to open up this chest right here. Uh, I'm just going to activate the trap. I'm over it. Oh, my God. I can't grab it. There we go. WB000 Bad Cook. And that is the last item on the Eliminate Honest Brute level. The next chest is on Underground Exploration Depth 1. And you'll recognize this area. You try to go down, it'll stop. You have to kill some enemies, and you'll fly over here for this thing. Well, right past that thing in the back of the room is a chest. And that chest has the 1AC01L Ephemera. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's it. And that's it for Underground Exploration Depth 1. So the next items are on depths too. And you'll come out here, you'll see that thing jump away. And then you'll need to head out this way. And you'll need to cross this bridge. Or you cross all this stuff. Let me get my boost back. Alright, that thing will run away into here and you'll have to chase it for the first item. So you'll head back into here. It'll be back here. You just go to the right instead. Wow, that hit hard. And you go back into here. And right here's a chest. I already grabbed it, but that's the gills. Um, probably the best booster in the entire game for lightweight builds. Then after that, you're just going to get out of here. And the next item is not very much further forward in the game. So we're just going to drop down to here. And then down to here. And this is where you're supposed to go. And, oh, whoops, got turned around. Go down over to here. Okay, I got I got a little bit mixed up here. Okay, never mind. We drop here. We drop on this side. Okay. Drop here, and then we drop a little bit further, and there's this thing for you to get into. Which is where you have to go to beat this level in general. And the next item is going to be right up here. So you're going to go here. You're going to use this to jump. And then you're going to boost forward, and there'll be a chest right here. And I don't even remember what's inside of this one anymore, but there was uh, an item in there, and that's both the chests in depth, too. So next up, we have Depth 3, and in order to get this one, we're going to have to go down to here. And then head over to here. You can land here as a little pit stop, and then go over here. And then you're going to want to go all the way up to here. And there's a chest right here, and inside of it is the 1A C01F Acellus. Okay, after that, you need to painstakingly uh, get around to another side of this place. So you'll have to painstakingly work your way all the way to the back side. So we started off on the exact opposite side of this. I can't even see it because it's on the opposite side. So on the opposite side of where you start, there's a, one of these pathways that goes out like this with an enemy on it. You look at the bottom. This is at 50 on the compass. There's a compass at the bottom if you didn't know in this game. And it is at 50. So you're going to go back here. And there will be a chest, and inside of this chest is the 1A C01C Ephemera. So that's everything on Depth 3. So if you want those ones, that's where the Depth 3 chests are. The next one's on Unknown Territory Survey. As you go through this cave, you'll get to this spot right here with a ton of these things. And you'll just cross over and come on the top right, right here. And go back down into here. And there's a chest right here after I kill all these. This chest has the 1A C01H Ephemera. So that's what's here. It's an unknown territory survey. And that's it. That's the only one that's in this area. The next one's at the end of chapter 4 is Reach the Coral Convergence. You're going to spawn and you're just going to head over this way. There'll be a barrier here, but the barrier will actually extend to the right once you get over here. So you're going to head over to this little area to 270 of the spawn. And right over here, there's a building, which I don't have enough boost to get to. But here's a random building with um, an item on it. It's the one the one A C zero one W three Aurora. So that's that. Then after that, you're gonna want to kill these enemies and move on to the next part of the of the level. There's actually another item on this one. Once you get to this bridge, you'll know where this is if you've beaten this level. You just need to go across this bridge. 
easiest way to do this is just go from rooftop to rooftop like this. And then at the end of this bridge, there will be an item. But if you go up on the bridge like this, you can actually go over the uh, autonomous grinder wheel fight on the bridge. It'll just go right past you and keep going. So you just need to get over to this, land, and then get your boost back. And down below you is a bunch of wheels guarding a chest. You can actually grab it and then run away. Or you fight them, but they're awful to fight. So I highly recommend just grabbing and going. But if you are going to fight them, you might want to try a missile build. Missiles are decently good for them. Or this build right here, the full assault build from my ch YouTube channel. But that's the second chest, and that's all that there is on Reach the Coral Convergence. Now, I don't know if I said, but that last chest had the Moonlight Blade. And that's all the chests until New Game Plus Plus. So the last ones I can't show you because I haven't had time to beat New Game Plus Plus yet. But it will be, I assume it's the last mission. It will be one that's called Regain Control of the Xylem. So instead of Bring Down the Xylem, there'll be one called regain control of the xylem and in that one there are two chests on that level and those two chests each have coral weapons i i don't have the exact locations but i can at least point you in the direction to know they're on that level you can use the scanner to help find chests unfortunately i don't have time to do it myself and starfield comes out in like one hour so i've got to swap games and i don't know if i'll ever have time to come back and, and do the new game plus plus but that's where they are and after those ones if you can find both of them on that last level then that, as far as I'm aware, that is literally every single hidden part in the game. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope it helped you out. Hopefully now you can find all the hidden parts in Armored Core 6.